Hey guys, it's Sithlore. wanted to talk about the Acid Cloud skill uh, today, which in my opinion is one of, if not the strongest secondary skills available to the Witch Doctor. It's very mana intensive, as it costs 172 mana for each cast, but it does do um, quite a bit of damage. It does 115% weapon damage initially, and then does 150% weapon damage as poison over 3 seconds or 50% per second. So it does in total or potentially 265% weapon damage. So it is a, a strong skill. It's an area of effect skill and you can basically place it wherever you want. So again, it does a fair amount of damage. The downside to the skill is that it does not stack and so <coughs> at least the normal rune like we're showing here does not stack. So this is actually the skill that I use um, quite often. So I'm just going to show you my normal gameplay as I'm as we're discussing the skill. So as you can see, that was the the base skill. So let's take a look at some of the rune choices available. So the first one is Acid Rain, which is extremely popular because it increases the initial area to 24 yards, which is double the normal. The reason I emphasize the word initial is because this is a damage over time and an individual skill. Well, the initial damage state area is 24 yards, but the area that lingers is not uh, increased. So it's still only one specific area that takes the additional damage. Although the point of this rune is that it increases the uh, initial damage. So although it's the most popular rune choice, uh, it's effective, but um, it's not one that I normally use too often. <coughs> the next one changes the way that the area of effect works. So Lob Lob Bomb is it still does the initial 115% weapon damage, but instead of being covering an area, you drop a blob or glob, glob whatever you want to call it, that tracks down enemies. The advantage, as you can see, that there's two of these things here. So the advantage of of the glob is that it will actually chase after enemies, and you can have multiple globs attacking. That damage does stack or seems to anyways. So that's the the one advantage. The disadvantage of the skill is the fact that because there's only one glob that's <coughs> um, attacking, then there's anybody else who's standing in the area is not going to be taking damage. So if you're dealing with a, a champion pack or an elite pack, only one of the, the uh, enemies will be taking AoE damage per attack, that is. As a result, um, I find this to be the most mana intensive because if you're dealing with multiple enemies and things that stack, you're going to want to cast it as quick, as often as possible. So a great skill, but the most mana intensive out of all the options. The next one is Slow Burn. This is the least mana intensive out of all of them because the additional damage is doubled in duration and therefore increases the the total damage. It's still 50% weapon damage per second as the uh, the lingering effect, but it lasts for 6 seconds. And so you're going to cast this le the least often because you want the entire 6 seconds to to last. That being said, if you're dealing with multiple packs, then you can can cast it more often because you're affecting different areas and different enemies. <coughs> it doesn't do much good though when the enemies leave the area. So then it just becomes like any other any other rune choice. Or most other rune choices. Blah blah bomb bomb. The last one that we were looking at, um, it will chase after enemies, assuming they're not too fast. So that's another reason that people really like that that rune. The next one is Kiss of Death. 
the reason I don't like this skill is because it changes the dynamic to make it a, a shorter distance. Um, the damage is increased by by about 10%, but as I indicated, the um, the distance or the range is greatly reduced as a result. So, so as you can see. Uh, he's actually spitting this rather than dropping a cloud and so you have less flexibility with this rune choice than you do with any of the other ones so because of my playstyle I don't like this rune because as most of you should know by now I like a, a ranged character the last choice is corpse bomb this is the one that I use uh, and the reason being is because instead of being 115% weapon damage and then 150 over 3 seconds, it does 230% weapon damage all at once. So I can not have to worry about the 3 second cooldown, I can cast this immediately, and it's all instantaneous damage. The disadvantage is there's a slight delay from the time that you cast it until it takes effect. Uh, <coughs> The example that I just showed wasn't a very good example because it was cast in a Grasp of the Dead, and so it was difficult to, to see. So, it shows you the range that it covers, and it shows you the area where it's going to be. Again, uh, if you're going to use this, you're going to be casting it pretty often, just like Blah Blah Bomb. And so this is another one of the extremely mana intensive options available to you. <coughs> so let's just take a look at these guys and after we're done this battle, I'll stop the video. So as I said, this is my normal playstyle. Um, stay ranged, let my dogs and Gargaria Gargantuan tank the thing, use uh, my spiders to do a lot of the damage with Grasp of the Dead and my Corpse Bomb as my secondary damage skills. And I find it to be quite effective. So thanks for watching guys. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content, please subscribe. I'll be producing some more shortly. Thanks, guys.